Let's move ahead and the next command which I would like to take is the git commit amend command. So being a developer, you might be working on a multiple changes in your code base. And this git commit amend command is really useful before you even push your code to the main repository or even into your branch. Why this is important? Because uh, being a developer, if you want to make a 10 changes, then you don't want to create a 10 unnecessary commits. You want to club all of those changes into a single commit. And it is quite often that you make a change and then later on, after a couple of hours, you realize that, no, uh, I need to make a, one more new change. But then you realize, do I need to make a new commit? Then in that such a scenario, you can use the git commit amend command to save yourself from creating multiple commits. Okay. And this git amend command is really useful when you have not pushed your code to the your own branch or your main repository then it becomes really handy. Otherwise, you need to do a git push using the force. But anyway, I'm just going to take a very simple example to explain this, how the git commit amend command works. First, take a look onto the commit messages which we have committed uh, previously into our GitHub repository. So the command I'm going to run is git uh, log. And after that, I'm just going to supply one line flag. And here you can see these are the commit messages. So now the very simple example using the git amend command is we would like to modify this particular commit message. All right. So this is the last message which we have committed and pushed into our GitHub repository. So how we can modify that. So as soon as you run the git commit amend command, then it is going to pick your latest or last commit message. Okay. So here I'm going to run the command git commit and then I'm going to run git amend and hit enter. So here you can see the same message has been opened into the edit mode. So from the keyboard, you can press I for going into the edit mode. And here you can add your custom message. For example, uh, added a feature number two for demo. Okay. After that, you can just simply escape and then you can press colon W and Q to save your uh, commit message and then hit enter. All right. So after that, your uh, commit message has been saved and it has been modified. Let's take a look again, the git commit history. So again, I'm just going to run the command git log one line, which you can see over here and then hit enter. So here you can see my previous message has been modified. So this is the very simple example through which you can just simply edit your previous commit message using the git commit amend command. Now let's take a one more step further and uh, apart from modifying a simple commit message, now I would like to modify my file as well as modify my previous commit message. So there are two things we are targeting with the git commit amend command. So again, I'm going to take a same example of a feature 2.txt and here, first of all, I'm going to make a changes. So this is a change in file I am doing for git commit amend okay uh, although in your case it will be your code but to make this example simple that's why i am taking the txt file over here otherwise there is no other reason which uh, for that particular purpose i have taken the text file all right now let's save the file and now uh, if i go to my terminal and let's take a look on to our commit messages so here i'm going to run the command git log and then one line okay so here uh, now i have modified the file which you can see over here this is the new change which i have done and if i take a look over here not here but into our terminal then uh, i would like to uh, make that change as a part of this particular commit message which is this one over here okay so i don't want to introduce a new commit but i just want that change to be a part of this particular commit so how to do that? First of all, let's check the status, git status. And here you can see this file has been modified. OK, so if file has been modified, the obvious thing is what you will do. You will try to add that into the git so that the git is aware that this new file we need to commit and push. OK, so here I'm going to run the command git add. And then here I'm going to add feature.txt2. OK, now I have added the obvious thing which you will do is to do the commit message. But here we don't want to introduce any new commit over here. But instead, I want to work on the same commit which I have previously committed because my feature is not ready yet. 
okay so here what i will do i will just go and type git commit and then after that i will just type amend and then hit enter so here i'm going to go into edit mode by pressing i and added a feature number two for demo and new change in file so i have modified the same commit message over here then after that press escape and then colon and wq to save your uh, message and then hit enter and after that your message has been modified and then your file has been added over there okay so that's how you can modify your previous commit you can add your file and that file will be a part of your git commit amend so that's how you can work with your previous uh, commit message modification using the git commit amend command.